Uh, welcome to the booth, Rob. Still Seb Williams here. Bound to be a cracker. Pretoria boys first sacks. And we're underway. Here's Julian Rocha Ruiz. Swing for the ball. The Pretoria boys, number 12, gets it. Ryan Muller. Daniel Paris on the ball. Pops over to Dion Schoolman. Matthew Meese on the ball. Big balk. No drop in the hole. But Sachs do have an excellent centre back in Liam Brown. Number two there. Pretoria boys trying the slingshot, but the technique just wasn't on top standard. Julian Rocha Ross on the ball now. Sachs being very patient on attack here. Julian Oprah on the top. But Oli Schemas opts for Josh Faber. Brilliant player. And brilliant finish. He basically walks the ball into the back of the net. Josh Faber really actually just toying with the goalkeeper there. Toronto boys keeper, Kofan Ruen, couldn't do much there. Josh Faber just brought it around his head and he really tempted him from going for the steal, but there's nothing the keeper could do. Too much skill there from Josh Faber. Number six, Pretoria boys has it. Ball into the hole. Good work there from goalkeeper Ben Hartley. Good teamwork actually. Liam Brown kept his hands up and Ben Hartley just went to retrieve the ball. They pass to the right now with Brignaut. Good work from Sachs. the ball. Pass it over to Josh Faber, the goal scorer. He plays it to Oli Skimans. It's a posted in finish. Great play by Sachs. That's 2-0 now. Got a magnificent passage to play there for Sachs. Ali Skimmer's getting the ball in the hand there. Having a quick balk and making no mistake in front of goals. Sis. Caleb Millen was open in the middle there, so I think he would have been a bit upset if Ali didn't finish it, but he did. Luckily, so yeah, great play from Sachs. Sachs seemed to be in control, so what can Pretoria boys do now to resurrect where uh, they you are? Know, obviously, the Sachs, the Sachs has quite fit, Rob, so I mean... If Pretoria boys are going to want to win this, they're going to have to, I think, try and do it in the first half and then try and just defend in the second half because the Saks are not going to let up. We have a break Josh Faber with the ball again. Surely he must finish. And he does. He books the keeper. Strong book. Keeper had no idea where he was going. Josh Faber with a brilliant finish bottom left. No mistake there from Josh Faber. Really making his impact felt early on. An assist and two goals. I mean, he's been scoring goals left, right and centre here. And that time, it was in the left. Quite correct you are, Rob. Quite correct you are. Number six, Pretoria boys, bringing it up here. Dion Skrman. Dion Skrman, dangerous shooter from the top. Cool, but they, they seem to have got a kick out yeah. here. It's a kick out. Pretoria boys, oh, but good steal there from Josh Faber. Poor play by Pretoria boys. If they want to get a goal back, they're going to have to use their man ups. Faber now on the ball, taking slowly up the pool. Really surveying his options. There you see, he's a composed player. He really, he, he really thinks of everything in the pool. Ball pop back into Julian's path. Fantastic work there in the hole by Caleb Millen. Only a great ten and something of a physical specimen as he earns the five meter. I'm sure Josh Faber will come up to take the five meter and he does. He could have a hat trick within four minutes of this game, Rob. That's yeah. incredible. It just kind of shows the quality of player, the caliber. It, that is Josh Faber. Quack Richie R, Rob. Quack Richie R. <laughs> and next, no mistake, as I wouldn't expect him to. Josh Faber finish. just firing to the bottom corner. That was a bottom left finish, finish, you know. Nothing better. Pretoria boys will have to get a goal back here now if they have Skim any chance of getting back. Pops it to Nisa. Played over to number 10, Daniel Paris. <laughs> Nisa, big book. Back to Paris. Good defense from Blignot. And an Eiffel Tower kind of pass back. Gets it back to Ben Hartley. He plays it to number 7, Blignot. Pass it to Josh Faber, who's already scored a hat trick with a beautiful spin. And Fantastic the back shot that hits the crossbar. 
Unlucky just hitting the back shot there. Good stuff though. Here come Pretoria boys on the right here. With, with number three. He passes it over. Number 10 here, Paris. Great shot, but great block there. By Ben Hartley. That's great polo. Big save there from Ben Hartley. Really showing off his skills as goalkeeper. You know, at that, at that part, would you go across goal or would you go front post? A shot like that. I think it was right to go close post, but I think the bounce off there quite near to Ben would have been the best option. Because that's very hard to see. And that Ben doesn't have much time to make the save there unless he comes forward off his off his post, which is also very risky. I agree. Sex. Faber, in, Faber could be up in the middle here. Blignot with the ball. Nisa, good press there. They have Oli on the oh great pass to find Oli Skirman to the right. He should find Devin Lawrence in the middle. But he doesn't. That's a lot there. Devin Lawrence and Walsh in the middle. I think that would have been the correct option, don't you, Rob? No, I really do think that. I mean, he barely had an angle on there, but you know, if he was going to shoot, I think the lob was the best option. And just maybe just a mistake in the finish. First but no cigar. No, six passes to 12 on the right there. Back to Ryan Muller. He gets it into the middle to number Paris. 10. Paris. The way Paris trades up, he looks like the Eiffel Tower. Fantastic player. Ben Hartley gathers, passes to this workhorse here on the right here. Matt Blignett. Ali Skirmans calling for the ball, gets it on the hand, but he drops it. Ali Skirmans. Faber could be up in the hole, gets it to Faber. Good work from Faber. Oh, spins the player, but good teamwork from Dian. Sorry, you know, Paris there. They can see that Faber's a dangerous the man. Ball. They're dropping three on, on, on Josh Faber. So, Sachs might need to use another attack here. Yeah, I think definitely, Rob. That just shows the respect this Pretoria by boys side do have for Faber. Fantastic player, really proved his worth so far here in this tournament. And I think he could be a contender for player of the tournament, even make the team of the tournament. Ali Skimans on the ball, plays it over, puts in Rokorosa's pass, but that's just a bit too forward as the keeper gathers it. Number 12, Ryan Muller can swim up now and they can counter here. They have a man roaching there, Julian Rokorosa. That's Skirman on the hand. Here, yeah, Richard has the ball. Great shot, though. Hits the, hits the upright, the right upright. Josh Faber looking composed. Just swinging the ball up steadily, slowly. Faber passes, passes to the across. right. Blignot collecting the ball here. Left hand of Blignot is. Here comes Julian Rokoros. He can shoot. We all know he can. Right up in the hole, though. Good shot from Rocco Rose, but just hits the crossbar. I think they need to use that hole option a bit more. They haven't, put, haven't been putting a lot of them in the hole. Devin Lawrence looks keen to get the ball. Um, and the rumor has it Devin Lawrence's fire never goes out. He's known as something of a ginger ninja. Fantastic player, really. I think Devin Card will be happy with his boys at half time. They've done well in this first half. Um, Troy of boys will want to get a bit more amped up. Luvoyo Rubuche will want to get his boys pumped and try and get them to come back in the second half. What do you think, Rob? I agree. Um, at half time, yeah, I've got Matthew Hayes coming to add his input for a bit. Just for 20 seconds, see what he has to say. Yeah, look, Sachs have really been on top of their game today, playing really hard, fit team. Um, Pretoria boys really need to get back into this, score the first goal, and then they'll be right back in the game. Yeah, back to Seb. Thanks very much, Hayes. We really do value our opinion. And, uh, yeah, fantastic information there. Sacks win the swim off with Brent Finnekirk. Pass it inside to Donato. The donut machine. From plays it to Liam Brown. 
Liam Brown plays it to Tide Langner. Good stuff there from Tide Langner. Plays it to the hole. It's the hole, Dev Lawrenson. The drop worked well there for Pretoria boys. Number nine cleaning up there. Plays it back to the goalkeeper who plays it to Nisa. Nisa on the now left. on the ball, walking in. Nisa really a danger man for Pretoria boys and only in grade 10. Fantastic player. There he goes. Right on top of the D, number five. Strong shooter there. Into the hole. I believe that is Paris. A great defense from the Ginger Ninja there, Devin Lawrence. As he gives the ball back to Jack Van Heerden, his goalkeeper. Plays it to Ben Fanuko, who plays it straight to Donato. Can he do what he does best here? Seb Animal was up in the air there, but Alessio gets the foul though. Plays to Ben Fanuko. Back on top to Liam Brown, the sharp shooter. Back shot. The ginger ninja there, Devin Lawrence, some fantastic work from the youngster. Good bounce off, good rock off in the hole there. Fires away the back shot, but good save there from the Pro boys keeper, Cole Van Royen. You know, Cole Van Royen really showing his worth in this Pretoria boys side. Brent for Nickirk, plays it back to Liam Brown. He plays another one too there. Plays it into the hole. Great Should work by Donato. Oh no, M apologies I was unless you're Donato. But it's a reversal. Well, well defended by Nisa. Donato looks frustrated with that call. But he feels right call by the referees there. Bit of a scuffle in the hole and um... You know, the referees always have a better na angle than the commentators, so we should back their call before ours. Nisa gets the foul there. Beauty there, Rob. Beauty there. Places to number nine. Number nine plays it back to Nisa. Nisa Hard gets the foul. foul. there by Nisa. Oh, Nisa. Good block from Fanico. You know, that shot was so far out, I don't think he thought he was even going to score. Even if Fanico wasn't there to make the block, uh, I don't really think it would have threatened Jack Van Heerden here. Seb Anima looking for the spin. He gets the foul though. Onto the hand of Tide Langer. Liam Brown. Lawrenson. Fanico could be hold open in the hole. Oh, but they passed Seb Anima. Great pass. Great vision and great pass from Lawrenson. And fantastic finish there from Anima. Some people call him the CN enemy. Great play. Anima there, the left hander, getting it. Just on the water. Rolling onto his back and finishing nicely with the back shot there. Fantastic no, it was, it was work a sneaky from shot and I don't think the keeper was actually expecting that type of shot by Seb Anima. Dangerous lefty. Number 11 with the ball, Niza. Plays it to number 4 there. And back to number 10, Paris. Number 4 there. Luka Paris Martin. on the ball, Luca Martins. Daniela there, Daniela Paris. There he Anima is, number eight. Seb Anima. Plays it to Liam Brown. We all know he can shoot from here, but he'll rather opt to pass it into the hole. Caleb Great Mitchell. spin. But he doesn't get the result that he was looking for there. Caleb, Caleb Millen. Millen could have taken the shot there, actually. He did have a fantastic rock off on the center back. No, I think he had the strength there. I think he had the upper hand. I think he just didn't realize it. I think it was just a lack of awareness there. He didn't realize how close he was to the goal. So the keeper could have got there when he did spin the player. But fantastic work in the hole either way. Number four has the ball. He balks a bit, he balks a bit, but plays it into the hole. Swamped by the Sacks defense. That's fantastic defense there from Liam Brown. Um, otherwise known as Lee Lee or Brownie. Fantastic work from the, from the youngster there. Alessio Donato, the Portuguese international. Looking for something. The Italian stallion. Sebastian Anna plays it to Liam Brown on the top. A reversal in the hole against Caleb Millen. Good work there by the Pro Boys centre back. And good catch by Jesse Singer. Cole Van Royen looks for a pass and he finds his fellow teammate number nine. <laughs> plays it to number 10, Paris. Big block from Paris. Fantastic defense there from Seb Anima. He's really been a, a big factor in this game here today, don't you think, Rob? You no, know, he's having the game of his life here. He's, he's had a brilliant finish, a few brilliant steals, and, you know, he, he's playing extremely well. 5 0 sacks, they seem extremely solid and are contenders 
for the final. Men ready. And look at this, they get another kick out. Two kicks out there, some foul play on, from him onto number three for sacks, Caleb Millen. Well worked there by Caleb Millen as he shows his strength. Good catch there from Tim Resman. Liam Brown onto the hand of Seb Adama. Donato's open. He should have just popped it over to Brent Fanique there, but it would have been hard for him to see. It could be a violent shot here. It's a double kick out. Number 10 is gone. They need a score here. Fantastic work from Tide Langner. Sachs really should make the most of this as they have a double man up. Oh no, one player does come in. But they still have a man up. Watch the hand of Adama. Adama again. Fantastic game from the youngster. Really you know, proving his worth in the side. Seb Adam has scored two goals now out of the six goals. You know, he, he's playing brilliantly and the left-hander is really showing his worth in the Sachs team. No, I've been, I've been very impressed with him today. I do believe he's having such a fantastic game. He does have a fantastic first name, Seb. Um, but yeah, beautiful game from him so far. You know, I heard that he was born in Argentina and that helps with with his breathing and actually his swimming and it's endurance that helps it was that actually could be Rob um, I wouldn't be surprised if that's true and uh, well researched by you actually number 10 Paris finds it gets the ball on the right plays it back here big block by Nisa oh good onto the hands fantastic reflex they save there from Jack Van Heeren He's really impressed me so far here today. You know, there's so many contenders for the, the goalkeeper of the tournament. I mean, I think every goalie from each team is good in their own right. They've really put their hand up when I think of fantastic goalkeepers. Matan, sorry, Matanda comes to mind. I think it's Mataka. Mataka, apologies. Jack Van Heeren, Ben Hartley, both fantastic goalkeepers for sacks. Remember that Caden Stroh from DHS. Oh, Caden Stroh, brilliant player. Um, you also have Dave Liverson for Bishops, who were just recently eliminated. He's having a fantastic tournament as well. Um, anyway, we look, we look for Jack. Jack looks to pass. Sacks Devin Lawrence on the left. on the ball here. Only just under 25 seconds left. Lawrence gets the foul into the hole for Faber. And that's a kick out. Fantastic work there from Josh Faber. And he fires it away. It's a great finish though. Josh Faber with his fourth goal of the game. Seb Anima two. These two have really had the game of their lives here. Yeah? Josh Faber and Seb Anima. Everyone in the crowd seemed a bit confused um, as to what's happened. Josh Faber didn't get the foul and the, the kick out there. So it just gets a quick and fires away. Fantastic yeah. game there from Sachs. You know, Sachs really showing their class there with a 7-0 victory against a strong Pretoria boys. Their romance started with love notes, then texting. And even now that he's hundreds of kilometers away, they stay close, one video chat at a time. Protect your future memories by ensuring the one thing that makes your connection possible, your income. Follow the link to learn more about Liberty's income protection. Liberty, the advantage of knowing.